In this video, we will look at reducing rational expressions made up of several polynomials. We remember that to reduce, we divide out common factors. What this means to us is we must first factor the polynomial before we are allowed to do any reducing, just as with factoring fractions. In this problem, we cannot simply jump to reducing the terms. We never will reduce terms. Instead, we must first factor the numerator and denominator. In the numerator, using the AC method, we need to multiply to negative 6 and add to 5. This is possible with 5 and 1, I'm sorry, with 6 and 1, if the 1 is negative. We can start building our factors, then. The only way to get 2x squared is 2x times x. We had to factor a 2 out of one of our numbers. Clearly, the 2 can factor out of the 6, giving us a positive 3. Factoring the x out of negative 1x leaves us just negative 1, and the numerator is factored. Similarly, we must factor the denominator. Using the AC method, we multiply to 4 and add to negative 5. We see this is possible with negative 4 and negative 1. We will again create our factors, keeping in mind FOIL. The only way to multiply to 2x squared is 2x times x. On the outside, 2x had to be multiplied by something, to get an answer of negative 4. This would be 2x times negative 2. In the center, the x must have been multiplied by negative 1. Now that we have factored our expression, we are allowed to reduce. Notice we have a common factor in both the numerator and denominator of 2x minus 1. This factor can divide out leaving us with just x plus 3 over x minus 2 as our reduced rational expression. Let's take a look at another example, where we have to factor first before we're allowed to reduce. In this problem, we can't jump right to reducing the 9x squareds as a result of the pluses and minuses in the problem. We must first factor that numerator. Using the AC method, 9 times 25 is 225. We also want to add to negative 30. After some practice, we find this will be negative 15 and negative 15. Notice those two numbers match. When they match, we know it's one of our special factoring shortcuts. It's going to be something squared. Taking the square root of the 9x squared to get 3x, the square root of the 25 to get 5, and the sign from the middle will complete factoring the numerator. In the denominator, we will need to factor the 9x squared minus 25. Notice it's a binomial. We have a difference of squares. Using our difference of square shortcuts, we know it's going to factor to the sum and the difference of the square roots. The square root of 9x squared is 3x, and the square root of 25 is 5. 3x plus 5 times 3x minus 5. Now that it's factored, we are finally allowed to reduce. We have a common factor in the denominator and the numerator of 3x minus 5. As we reduce it out of the denominator, we also noticed there were 2 to begin with, and now 1 left over in the numerator. We leave 1 behind in the numerator, 3x minus 5, over our denominator, 3x plus 5. And now the expression is simplified. We cannot reduce the 3's and 5's as a result of the addition and subtraction. This is completely simplified by factoring.